One of the most famous and most visited religious attractions in Europe is Medjugorje in Herzegovina, which gets over, I think, one and a half million tourists a year. It's turned into a 11 month a year tourist destination with uh, pilgrims coming from all over the world. The only problem with it is that it's not officially recognized by uh, the Vatican. This is where in, uh, back in 1985, I think it was, the Virgin Mary appeared to six kids who were looking after goats on the mountainside. And a lot of people come from places like Poland, which is a very Catholic country, and they drive all the way down and what nobody realizes is that why they're, while they're going to visit this uh, alleged miracle site, which has not been recognized by the Vatican, they're actually driving very, very closely past the only certified miracle in Croatia, which not so many people know about. And not only is it certified, it's also possible to visit. Back in 1411, at the private chapel of Count uh, Bacini in uh, Ludbreg, the priest was uh, celebrating the Eucharist and was giving doubt that the whole concept of the wine turning into blood of Christ uh, was actually true. And apparently during that mass at that moment, the wine turned into blood and the priest was terrified. He didn't tell anybody and he hid it. Uh, in a wall and on his deathbed he was very very um, traumatized he was about to meet his maker and he told somebody about this and they found the uh, the chalice with the with the blood still in it it was taken down to Rome where it was authenticated as uh, the Eucharistic miracle of Ludbreg and uh, so it became uh, the only certified miracle in Croatia when I first went to Ludbreg uh, which is a fascinating town which is officially the center of the world so they say I was told about this miracle and I went to see it in in the church and there it was you can actually see it you can actually go to mass there and be have mass in the presence of a certified miracle now i'm not particularly religious but i know for if people are going all the way down to medjugorje to see something that is not actually um, uh, officially a miracle then this has got to be interesting but the story gets even more interesting because in the same town in 1738 there was a plague and ludbreg is very close to varajdin which at the time was the capital of croatia during the plague the Croatian government made some kind of decree and they said if God would stop the plague they would build a church of thanks in the town of the miracle in Ludbreg and God did as you know he was asked he stopped the plague and not for the first or last time in the history of the Croatian uh, politics the Croatian government did nothing so back in 1738 they said we will build a church and then in 1994 in the middle of the homeland war when you would think the um, priorities would be elsewhere. They started to build this church in uh, Ludbreg in a park. It looks a little bit like the church in Medjugorje itself, actually. It's a bit more flattened. And uh, it's in this beautiful park. It has stations of the cross all the way around. And it's only ever used once a year in the first week of September when they celebrate the anniversary of this, this miracle. And during that time, you have about 100,000 people, pilgrims, will come to Ludbreg just for that weekend. So you have this incredible small little town which has three fascinating churches. It has the original chapel beautiful frescoes and uh, it's a very small place and you can go behind it you know you can see the papal bull where it was actually um, decreed that it was a, uh, a miracle from the Pope you can see the uh, thing from the uh, Croatian government where they said that they would uh, do the church and then you go to the main church which is where the actual chalice is and then you can go to this one church which is only used once a year and if you go to that church which is used once a year and you look it has the most incredible portrait of the Last Supper I've ever seen because normally you have Jesus and Mary Magdalene Magdalene and the 12 disciples. And in this particular one, you have Jesus, Mary Magdalene, and then all the important uh, religious people from Croatia over the centuries, including the Croatian helper uh, assistant of Mother Teresa, uh, including um, Cardinal St Stepinac and people like that. And if you want to go, you can actually go and have mass. They have mass two, three times a day uh, in this particular church. And so if religious tourism is your thing and you want to be part of a situation with a real authenticated Croatian miracle, then I suggest you head to Ludbreg.